What is up, guys? This is Justin, a.k.a. FM Digi, and I'm here with episode number 15 of Bottom to Top with Hazef Kandukni. We're taking the bottom team in the bottom league of Ashawani football, bringing them back up to the top. Today, first round matchup, Copa Popolare. Let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I had my mouse placed strategically over something that I kind of really wanted to talk about. Um, I lost someone that I really did not want to sell. He um, got a few offers and declined them all because he uh, has a, uh, had a, um, what am I trying to say, release clause. And... I, you know, no one was meeting it. No one was meeting it. And then the software came in and he said, I'm going to become unsettled if I don't get to talk to Usana, Uswana. So, um, gave one of those really high prices and he said, no, that's not going to cut it. We did that back and forth until we finally agreed on a price. And now he's gone and I'm upset, mad, um, that, uh, Theo Auger is no longer with the squad. Um, sold him. And it, this one hurt because at 20 years old, he was going to be the future of this team, but he outgrew us. I mean, he got an offer to go to Uswana. Um, they're in Regale. So, I mean, they're the top tier Ashwani football. Granted, they're not the best team, but I mean, he's playing with the big dogs right now as their you know, youth teams, but still, it, it just it hurt. This one made me mad. Um, but, you know, we, we, we push on. Uh, I don't think we talked about our other uh, updates. Benz came in, uh, 18 years old, um, attacking midfielder. Um, we don't really play attacking midfielder, so you know I'm gonna try to get him in where I can. Um, but he was someone that my assistant brought in, or jam. Um, Masayuki, or I'm sorry, Roselli was um, basically when Auger um, said he was gonna leave. I, uh, this guy came across from uh, GM as well and our director of football. And, and it was weird because he had like three and a half stars uh, current and like four, four and a half star potential. And as soon as I sold him or bought him, this happened. So yeah, a little disappointed in my staff, but you know, his numbers are there what they are. Um, since we do play more of a wing back instead of a fullback, um, that's why I was kind of bringing him in. I wasn't too upset about losing Augur. I did uh, delay that Augur sale by one week to try to get this one sorted. Um, Masayuki uh, coming in, attacking midfielder as well. Another um, another one that the uh, director of football, general manager, brought in. It says general manager in my game because I'm in the United States, but I know everyone else knows him as director of football, so I will interchange them both. Um, Santo, as he'll be named, um, or Quizabasu. Uh, forward, uh, he's all potential. 17 years old. He's in the under 20s right now. He is here for potential. His fitness and determination make me think he is going to be something special down the road. We'll see. I mean, he's already got 13 leadership at the age of 17, so that's pretty cool. And then Salar um, playing left back, which we've got a little bit of a depth ish issue. The depth issue with. Um, are immediately coming in as the best one and only 19 years old. So we've made these updates. Um, you know, I mean, I brought in a million, spent 54 grand over this whole transfer window. Uh, a lot of these guys were freeze. So they either came in um, via director of football or they were a uh, trialist. Actually, I think Roussel was a trialist. Um, and so we had him, you know, that's kind of how I do a lot of my stuff, bringing a lot of free agents on trial. But another thing, which is cool, this. Okay, so we lost, or we won the first match. And I thought, okay, whatever, we're gonna lose. And then we won against Ben Ben Garaz. I'm like, okay. And then this happened. I'm like, okay, that's kind of what I expected. League. And then we haven't lost since. I mean, form has been top notch. We were actually um, in first place going into this, or I forget one of these matches. We were in first place for like a couple hours because there was a game ahead of us. But, um, I mean, look at that. Flipping awesome. Third place, 
just gotta hold this. But today, um, uh, uh, club or Copa Popolare matchup against Akmini. Uh, they're in the same league we are. In fact, they're just right below us in there. So, um, really want to make sure. Uh, you know, I mean, there's there's money in this. Um, where am I going here? I do want to look at the money here. I don't think it's anything. Sorry, this light is right in my face. So 241 grand. Oh, I should show you the finances. You know, with selling Augur, we are up over. We're finally in the black. Or I guess it'd be in the white. I don't know. Um, financially, so got that going for us. So I mean if we win, we get some good money. And you know, overall we do have the the um edge on them. I'm gonna just hit this to make sure. Because I don't think I did last time. I always like to see. I have had a ton of offers in for Acevedo. They all come in for about a million, million and a half. I think they started at like 700,000 and they came up to a million. Now they're up to a million and a half. He's got a seven and um, almost a 775,000 uh, pound release clause. And I just keep telling them, hey, if you guys do this, then you can have them. And they always say, oh, crap, sorry, not going to do that. Um, I am going to move these guys around. We're going to go with Acevedo and go Salerno and Bianca Ara and back. Um, Salar, Biakupa, Derekles in the defensive um, mid. Aranda, Lizio in the middle. Benim, Barbier on the wings. And Ibar will be up front. Um, where is my guy? Oh, yeah, he got hurt. Um, Soraya's is, is out injured, I believe. Yeah, he got hurt for a few weeks. Yeah, hernia in training. I remember that. Um, so he was actually doing really well, and then Ibar stepped in and has been uh, sort of on a tear. I can, you know, you know me. I can't pick out one of these guys to do this. Um, but yeah, let's get into the match. Um, really would like to win this one. I don't think that I forgot to look at what the board wants, but um, let's say assertively do this for the fans. Yeah, they listen keenly. Um, I think the board just wants us to be competitive in this, so anything we can do, but you know, I'll take another long run in this cup for sure, you know, just to get some money. I mean, we do have a 270,000 uh, pound loan payment every month coming. And so, you know, selling Augur did pay for four months of that essentially. Okay, we're just gonna go the other way. Get my mouse out of the way. Oh, I thought that went right to the guy running in. All right, Barbier's got it. He's looking. Oh, he's got to be offside. Hi, Bar. Holy cow. How is he not offside? How did... I'm, I'm looking like this, like it's going to make a difference. That, that still looked offside to me. Wow, my light is doing some funky stuff up there. All right, well, I will take that all day. Um, they've got some guys in the 70s for fitness. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a little bit of a jerk and I'm gonna tackle him just a tad bit harder. You a tad bit harder. I really want to tackle you. Let's make these guys work just a smidge harder. Uh, the striker, we should, I, you know, one of the things I don't ever do is fiddle around with this uh, before game. It's only during the game that I think about it. Oops, sorry, raised them. All right, let's go, guys. Let's get these guys tired out. Um, Rudd, dashed up early. He can play with that, right? Jacopa, Barbier, Jacopa. There, oh. Arandia, get in, get in. I'm gonna sub him out. I can't. Chavosi, that's an easy sub for him, but I, Chavosi can't get hurt. That is a sweet goal right there. I, I swear, I thought we were offside like two or three times in that. Like that short uh, corner kick thing, we get offside a lot. Screwing around with that. Okay, well, good. Um, give him just a smidge of praise, a little. Dusting of praise. Barbier with another. See, I thought I changed this. Oh, you know what? When I change. 
Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so glad you guys are getting to see this because I thought I was going to, you know, I, I almost didn't want to turn off the game, but the last time I played was like three days ago and I did eventually turn off the game. I thought, no, I'm not going to turn off because this run is phenomenal. But that goal by Barbier, top notch, top freaking notch. This, this is good. I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Not going to get complacent. I'm going to tell them they're doing good. I'm going to praise them. Everyone's sort of in good in Biakupa, 77, but he's playing the defensive mid. Let's just go. I mean, we've already lost one guy. I don't want to lose any more. Main, we'll watch his fitness level there. Yeah, those guys are dropping into the 60s. We're going to wear them down. Oh, no. Just as the words are coming out of my mouth, we're going to wear them down. That. Haha. <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this guy, Avita Bile. Um, I don't think we've played him yet all year. Has he played? He's coming as a sub. Okay. Um, kind of want to see him. He's one of our signings this year. Instead of bringing in, um, I can't remember who I was looking to bring in. Derek Lees. Not Derek. Okay, that was a good goal. Not uh, not gonna lie to that. That was a pretty decent little uh, set piece. Was he off? It's okay, we both have offside goals in this match. Okay, let's demand more again. Let's go. I'm wasting just a smidge like that. Out of possession, I do want to off the offside trap. Go regroup here just to kind of us to do that. Um, are we playing for set pieces? Yeah, we are. Okay. And let's get Akapa out of there. I'm going to put in the midfield. Ben's can play in there. So let's get. Him there. Vince, yeah. Okay. A minute there. I was like, wait, what am I doing? I'm going crazy. Did we just... Oh, please, 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 please. End it. Yes, 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 yes. 3-1 win. That's big. 240 grand. That's, that's basically a payment, loan payment for the month. That domination. Can't think of anything particular to say. I know what I can say. Freaking good job, guys. Ooh, okay. Um, don't need to go through all of this. Great, another fitness concern. I love those emails. Um, we will probably come back. Let's see where these guys are in our same league. So it's not really anything exciting. I might come back for the next um, Popolare game here. That's a lot of time there. I don't know. I'll figure it out and I will come back for that. All right, thanks so much. That was episode number 15 at bottom to top with Josef Kandukni. Big win in Copa Popolare today. Big win. That was exciting. I, it was kind of a three versus two in terms of uh, where we are in the league, so I was not expecting a beat down like we put down, but that's fantastic. You guys are getting to see the form. Even with the loss of Augur, the team is playing really well. We're having a little bit of an injury bug. I didn't show you, but we've had guys go out, you know, two weeks here, three weeks here. It kind of sucks. But, you know, team's gelling, so that's good. That's all I can ask. If you guys haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button right over my shoulder right there. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this team. You know, where do you think we're going to go this year, seeing as now you've seen the first 12 games or so? Um, i like to hear your thoughts on um, where you think we're going. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.